Hey everybody, welcome back to the Holdsworth Homestead. It is February 27th, 2023. Just wanted to do a real quick update video, kind of going from winter into spring. It's getting a little bit warmer, still got some weather in the 50s, but now we've kind of passed potentials of 30s and 40s. Uh, last year at this time, I think the 27th or the 28th, we actually got frost, which is pretty crazy. Uh, this past year, we did get weather that dropped below freezing in January. And right around Christmas, we got weather in the 30s. So we did get four or five days where it got into the 30s. And we did get frost on the ground two or three days. So you can see I still have this PVC frame on the one side of my system here. Um, which I haven't taken down and you can see how all the greens have actually kind of outgrown the frame and what I do in real cold weather events um, when it does drop below 40 is I end up covering this one side um, as you've probably seen in some of my past videos but on the left side it's pretty difficult to cover um, but some of those I do put plastic covers over some of what I can so anyway, it's getting about time moving into spring to take this cover or this frame rather off. Um, but you can see how the greens have outgrown most of that. And a lot of these are at least chest high or higher on me. Um, I'm 5'4", and these super tall greens here, probably a good five feet sticking up above this frame. Um, but I just kind of want to showcase, you know, this is kind of peak season on the greens. And as we start moving into 90 degree weather here, which is going to be coming up shortly, um, I'll start to see caterpillars moving in. So just want to get some nice shots of all the greens. Um, and a lot of times I get asked, well, what greens are these? Um, and there's kind of a mix in here of collard greens and thousand head kale, uh, Romanesco, uh, probably some cauliflowers in here. So I think this one that's right on the end, this is a Romanesco um, doesn't quite have a head on here yet, but probably should be coming in shortly. You can kind of see what I'm talking about with caterpillars starting to move in. Um, this is a time of year, right? As it starts to get warming up, and you'll start to see little green caterpillars start to move in and get holes on these. Um, what's kind of funny is on the end here, I have this plantain that was a volunteer and this goji berry uh, that I just kind of left. And this thing's going to seed like crazy. I think I've put this in some other videos, but I just kind of left it because um, the leaves on this thing are like bigger than the size of my hand. Um, and this does have kind of some medicinal uses and whatnot. So it's not just a weed, but it's actually kind of a neat plant. Um, and I've got <laughs> what's actually a goji berry plant that is kind of spread out all over the place. Um, and maybe somewhere underneath here. I don't know, there might be some goji berries, but um, those will be coming in shortly. But this is all kind of mixed in with, this is all dollar weed that's grown in from the lawn. Um, and this is, as it's called, dollar weed. It is actually edible, but kind of a pest around here that likes to just grow in the lawn in wet areas. Um, so I got to get this this whole mess under control from this goji berry that's growing up and out over my raft system mixed in with the dollar weed in the lawn. But anyway, just kind of something to show off here. You can't really tell where the, the raft ends and the goji berry ends and the dollar weed and the lawn begins. So I got to kind of clean that up and work on that. Um, got some cucumbers coming up the trellis here, but it's going to start getting a little bit warm for those. Um, I see one little cucumber right here, and this will start to trellis up. Um, this is my cilantro starting to bolt. It's getting too warm here shortly for cilantro. Um, this is a plant that's called Self Heal. It's got some herbal medicinal properties, and you can see some caterpillars, caterpillar holes in this guy. Um, this one's kind of been a caterpillar attractor, but supposed to have some good medicinal properties. There's some oregano mixed in here that I started from some cuttings. There's some dill that's mixed in here. Actually, there's a little bit better shot of some dill plants. 
Uh, there's this Okinawa spinach, the purple and green leaf, and that's a collared plant sticking out from in between there. Um, Jewels of Opar has kind of got these pink seeds. That's kind of the spinach looking leaf here. Another good green, um, good vitamins, good beneficial iron content. Uh, this is some, I believe, whorehound. It's supposed to be good for coughing. Kind of looks like a mint leaf there. Um, this stuff actually made it through the winter pretty good, even though it's supposed to be a heat tolerant spinach. Um, and then some Suriname spinach over here. That's another heat tolerant one. Uh, back to my big old leafy greens. So again, just a mix. Um, it's probably some thousand head kale more collards. Um, there's some lettuce mixed in the middle of this one, but just a whole mix of greens. And you can kind of see on some of these edges here where caterpillars are starting to move in as it gets warm, but there's a nice big sea of greens. More than I can harvest and consume, so I do a lot of sharing. But the, uh, the size on these leaves is just very, very impressive. Um, but what's really impressive, I was never really a cabbage fan before I started growing this myself. Um, we like to make what's called cabbage steaks out of it, where you just kind of slice them this way into like one inch pieces and bake them um, at about 400, 425, and then flip them over. Um, so these ones, once it starts getting warm here, it's going to be time for them to come out. This is a variety that's called Megaton. Um, supposed to get pretty large so just kind of grew these to see how big I could get them to grow um, but that's just kind of a, a fun thing to grow and uh, see what they would do in the aquaponics system so got some more dill plants over here uh, this is a orange lemon balm that I'm starting um, something for a little bit warmer weather got some basil plants that I just started um, my tomatoes didn't do so well through the cold. Um, now it's starting to get a little bit warm for tomatoes. So I seem to not have the best luck weather-wise for tomatoes, but we'll see what I end up with. Um, I started some interesting plants, some Casa Banana. Um, not the best germination rate on those, but I got some going. And then I've still got my, my dragon fruit, my yellow dragon fruit hiding back here under my dill. Um, those have been growing like champs. So it's just kind of a neat, neat little oddity there. Um, got some various squashes and pumpkins, um, Kushaw pumpkins and forget all the different squash varieties, but trying some different things, mostly some heat tolerant ones to see what those do. Um, just harvested some lettuce the other day, but got an abundance of lettuce um, needs to get picked, but again, we've got so much stuff growing that I can barely keep up with how much I can eat. So just more greens everywhere. This is a Tilo urban flower. Got one of our bees hanging out, getting some nectar there. Um, there's, there's a few little squash plants up here starting to grow. So that's cool. Got some cat's claw herb up here. So just again, big impressive greens, collards, kale, Romanesco, the purple cabbage, red cabbage down here. Not quite as big as the green ones, but just some different variety. And then pretty soon it's gonna get to be too hot for a lot of these. I mean, a lot of them I'll keep going until May or maybe even June, but the caterpillars will start moving in and Gets to be a little bit more difficult to keep up with those. Got to keep up on them on a daily basis to avoid having to spray anything. On my end, it's just too much effort to have to come down and spray and then rinse and go through that whole process. So I just avoid it if I can. Try to plant whatever crops keep up with the weather.
but the system's been up and going for about two years and uh, obviously everything's very happy and healthy sharing a lot of greens with friends and uh, got some five pound tilapia at this point gonna see if we can do some koi spawning this year and that's about it <laughs>